the Copri arrangement is a reaction of 1,5-dienes. It is another example of a pericyclic reaction, like the Diels-Alder reaction, meaning that it too has a cyclic transition state in which all of the bond making and breaking occurs simultaneously. More specifically, the Copri arrangement is a 3-3 sigmatropic reaction. And this means a sigma bond changing reaction. In a sigma tropic reaction, a sigma bond in the reactant is broken and a new sigma bond is formed in the product. Pi electrons also shift during the process. The numbering 3 3 stems from the fact that three atoms separate the site where the sigma bond is broken from the site where the sigma bond is made. This numbering is unrelated to nomenclature, though. When drawing a mechanism for the Cope rearrangement, one of the pi bonds attacks the carbon six atoms away, thereby forming a new sigma bond. This displaces a second pi bond, and as that pi bond migrates, a sigma bond is cleaved and becomes a pi bond. As shown here, the reactant and the product are the same molecule. Since these compounds have the same energy, the reaction can just as easily proceed in the opposite direction to reform the reactant. There are two other ways that you may see the mechanism drawn. Sometimes the arrow that forms the new sigma bond is drawn not to the carbon six atoms away, but in between the two carbons that will be joined by the new sigma bond. Additionally, you will sometimes see the transition state drawn as a di radical. With all of the partially formed and broken bonds represented by dashed lines, this depiction can be a bit challenging to follow. The di-radical transition state can be clarified if we imagine a radical process in a stepwise manner. For instance, we could envision the homolysis of the green sigma bond. This would generate two allylic radicals, each of which can be drawn in an alternate resonance form. If these allylic radicals united, we would see the formation of the new sigma bond in the product. The di-radical transition state is merely the resonance hybrid of the two types of allylic radicals shown above. It is important to remember, though, that the Cope rearrangement is a concerted process and all of the bond making and breaking happens simultaneously. Imagining a radical process in a stepwise fashion was merely a tool for clarifying the di-radical transition state. The generic example shown previously had a reactant and product of equal energy. However, this is not always the case. When the reactant and product differ in energy, the more stable one is favored at equilibrium. In this example, Cope rearrangement converts two monosubstituted alkenes in the reactant to a product containing a monosubstituted and a disubstituted alkene. Furthermore, in the product, one of the two alkenes is also conjugated to the aromatic ring. The higher level of alkene substitution and the conjugation in the product both make it lower in energy and therefore the product is favored at equilibrium. The Cope rearrangement proceeds through a chair-like transition state, which can have stereochemical ramifications. In this example, the reactant can also be drawn 
in a chair-like arrangement. Since the stereochemistry of the two methyl groups has been specified for the reactant, we can place them about this chair-like transition state. Furthermore, we can place them in lower energy pseudo-equatorial positions. After the COPE rearrangement has taken place, it becomes apparent that as a result of the positioning of the methyl groups, both of the alkenes in the product have the trans configuration. A different reactant stereochemistry will of course lead to a different outcome. In this example, the reactant is a meso compound and it is a stereoisomer of the reactant used on the previous slide. When we draw this meso compound in a chair-like conformation, we see that one of the methyl groups can be placed in a pseudo-equatorial position, but the other must be placed in a pseudo-axial position. After COPE rearrangement, one of the product alkenes has the trans configuration, but the other one has the cis configuration. Note the difference from the preceding example in which both product alkenes had the trans configuration. In summary, the COPE rearrangement is a 3-3 sigmatropic rearrangement in which one 1,5-diene is converted to another. The more stable 1,5-diene is favored at equilibrium, and the reaction proceeds through a chair-like transition state which has stereochemical ramifications. The preceding was an excerpt from the book Introductory Organic Reaction Mechanisms, a color-coded approach to arrow pushing. If you found this video to be helpful, you may be interested in the complete book, which is available in ebook format from Scribd, in paperback from Amazon, and in paperback at a discounted price from Lulu.